The song is one that Aaron was playing. He said, I, I, I come too far to go back. Yeah, I come too far go to go back to do the mess that I was doing. Go ahead. Hurting a lot of my people and my family and everything. I come too far for that. Turn back. I'm six, I ain't trying. I'm six to eight years old. I'm not going back to that. But look at me now, y'all. Look at me. Because God, he can do it for everybody. Yes. Amen. Amen. But you got to get out there and believe in him, brothers. Mm -hmm. This is my second go round. I'm not going back. I got to start to keep going one way. That's power. Amen. That's what everybody needs to do. Amen. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> hey, let me get it right, Pastor. Amen. You know I'm on fire this morning. You know, you know when a fire takes off, it just keeps on going. You can't stop it. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. You know, Mother. Yes, we were at one time. You know, we were hated. Amen. We were slaves in this world. But you know what? They didn't know the Jesus that we know today. Amen. Amen. A Jesus of love. Amen. Yeah, amen. That's why many in the world. You know, they, they've never been to the river, amen? Yeah. And that's going to be my message this morning. They've never been to the Jordan River, amen, amen. where they've confessed their sins, amen? That, oh, my God, help me, Holy Ghost. Praise God. And yes, but you know what? We're slaves of Christ today. Yes. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 Brother Carly, you're confessing. You ain't turning back. Amen. Amen. I got a hatchet for you waiting if you turn back. Amen. You know, the Bible said Jesus is coming with a, with a, a shackle. He's he going to come and chop some people down. Amen. So when you think you can run back, you better, you better rem I'm just remember me telling you that. Amen. Amen. My God, y'all better help me up here this morning. To give God glory in the house. So we want to thank the guests here today. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank y'all for being a part of the church. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, my heart rejoices. You know, any disciples in the church? Yeah. All right. We got some disciples in the house. I'm going to have to beat them up today. Amen. Well, you know, like I always say good morning. You know, it's always good to be in the house of God. Amen. And I got to look at the camera more. My wife said, you never look at the camera and smile. Hey, I'm smiling today. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because the Bible says that we don't only have joy, but we have unspeakable joy. Amen. And that's where I'm at this morning. Amen. You know, I thank God because, you know, we're in the house of God. Amen. In the house of glory, amen. In the house of the true living God. Come on, somebody, amen. That, that, that's the house that we're in today, amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. Oh, my God. You know, so I just want to welcome again, you know, um, Sister Marie back, amen, from out of town. Amen, in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, when you find a good tree, amen, a, a church, amen, that brings forth good fruit, amen, the gospel of Christ Jesus, Hey, you can't get enough, amen. You know, you know, it's like a good tree that bears good fruit. My God, they were in my message this morning, amen. You know, you know, when you get around a tree that bears good fruit, you keep coming back to pick a little bit more. My God, y'all better help me this morning, amen. amen. And this is this house, amen. Oh, somebody better help me this morning. Amen. It tastes so good, you know, so gracious when you hear good words, amen. When you're in a setting, amen, of loving people. Come on, somebody, amen. Amen. You know, the Bible tells us that the gracious words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. My God, Proverbs 16, 24, for them that are writing it down. You know, that you know, look what it's saying, man. You know, the words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul. You know, this is what we're going to be talking about today. You know, we got to save some souls today, amen. But the word is what does it, amen. You know, and it brings healing to my God. Oh, my God, I thank God for the word that saved me. And save my soul, eh? for the sweet soul, the sweet words of Jesus, amen. And I also thank the work of the disciples, the disciples that helped me, amen. amen. I thank God for the disciples that took me to the river, amen, and set me on the right path to righteousness. Put me in a place of repentance, amen. And this is my subject today, amen. You know, I, I don't like to, you know, put a word on God, you know, a title on, on God's word, amen. But the, the, the. Subject today is take me to the river. Right. Amen. 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 Take me to the river. 
And I'm talking about going way back to the river, amen? To the Jordan River, amen? When John was out there in the wilderness crying, but I'm not going to get there yet, amen, because I'm going to take y'all there. I'm going to take y'all somewhere today, amen, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Give him glory in the house. Amen. See, for they did what God called them to do to create more disciples. Amen. amen. That's why I'm here today, amen, because of God's word has set me free. Amen. Church, from the beginning, Jesus called his disciples to follow him. He said, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. My God. Amen. He said unto them, come follow me after me and I will make you fishers of men. Do I have any fishermen in the house today? Amen. Amen. Any fisherwomen in the house? Amen. Well, you know what? Let me let y'all take a look at my socks on it. Hey, I got the fishing pole in there. Yeah, y'all better help me today. Amen. It just all fell in place today. My God, y'all better help me today. Amen. You know, Brother Ricky said, I got some socks for you. And I go, oh, my God, they go with up. I'm out. Help me, Holy Ghost. My God, help me, Holy Ghost. He said in Matthew 20 and 19, he said, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. God is saying, take them to the river. Amen. He said, you know, I need some folks to help me. Come on, somebody. And see, the last I know that God is still in the saving business. Amen. And he's still on the throne. Can I get an amen? amen. Do you know this, Jesus? Yes. Give him praise in the house. Yes. You know, the Bible says in, in, in Daniel 12, 3, that they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. Permanent, amen. And they that turn many to righteous has as the stars forever and ever. My God. Amen. It says that we will shine forever and ever, not only in this in this world, but the world to come, the heavens to come, amen. Because we, the ones that turn many to righteousness, we got work to do, church. Amen. amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. The Bible says in Proverbs. 1130, they're in my message this morning. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that winneth souls is wise. Do we have any winners this morning? Yes. Amen. 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 And you know, I'm not talking about making a win. You know, back in the back in the hey, back in the streets, we always said I made a win today. No, no, I'm not talking about that win. Amen. I'm talking about winning souls for the kingdom. Come on, somebody. Boy, y'all better help me up in here. See, we we are called. My God, my God, mm. my God, the wise shall turn many to righteous. Amen. Amen. Church, God is looking for soul winners. Wise men to baptize in the mighty name of Jesus for the remission of their sins. Help me, Holy Ghost. This world we live in, the Bible says, is become a perverse generation. Ooh, that's ugly. Amen. But, you know, the devil is out to prowl. You know, the Bible says that the devil is prowling around to see who he can devour. Amen. You know who he's coming against? He's trying to take out the disciples. That's who he's coming for. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 He's coming after the disciples because he doesn't want us to do the work. Oh, my God. The devil ain't going to get no glory this morning, though. Hey, hey. Amen. The devil can't touch this disciple. Amen. amen. He don't have enough power. Hey, my God. That's how we have to be. We got to call that out and say, you know what, devil? You can't have me today. Amen. You can't have my family today. Amen. You can't take my new job for me today. Amen. You can't take my Jesus from me today. Come on, somebody. Amen. That's how we have to speak every day when we get up, amen, because God is calling on disciples. God is calling the church to be a shining light in a dark place. God is looking for the church to follow the path of the just, a church that does not dare to compromise the word of God. Come on, somebody, amen. Last I heard, we are kingdom folks, amen, holy and sanctified, set apart for every good work, my God. Set apart for every good works. We got to get busy, church. Yes, sir. Jesus, take me to the river, amen. Even if I got to go alone, I'll go to the river myself, amen. But I'm going to put somebody down. I'm going to baptize some folks, amen. Get them to re repent of their sins. 
Tell somebody, take me to the river. Take me to the river. Amen. Tell them again, because they're going to have to hear it again. Amen. Why is this church in trouble today? See, the word of God has been compromised. And they have lost the desire to save souls for the kingdom. My God. What's wrong with the church? They're not being led by the spirit of God to declare the truth. Help me somebody. Amen. We are called to create true disciples that don't compromise the truth of God. Amen. The holy word of God. Amen. They have lost the desire to save souls for the kingdom. And they have turned the truth to a lie. Amen. That's what my Bible says. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. See we are called the faithful and the wise to salvation. And so these two members, they include teachers and disciples that are truly taught the way of salvation. Amen. Amen. Such as taught of God to learn Christ as the truth in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Stay with me now. I'm taking y'all somewhere. Amen. Right. The Bible says that many believe that Jesus was the one going around baptizing many, even the Pharisees. They believe he was putting, he was baptizing more than John. But they were wrong. It was the disciples who were baptizing. My God. You see, Jesus left that up to us. Amen. He left it up to the disciples to take them to the river. Church, we have to stop chasing after the world and his lies. Amen. Amen. And get back to work saving souls for the kingdom. Come on, somebody. It's getting quiet up in here. Can I get an amen? amen. Oh, I don't hear no glory in the house. Amen. John 4 1 says when therefore the Lord knew how the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John though Jesus himself said baptized not but his disciples it's in the word of God amen. amen yes God came for the sick he came for the lost amen he came he had he came to redeem the lost and the sick amen he had work to do amen but he left us in charge to take the sick and the lost to the river. Come on, somebody. Baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Why? Because there's so many lost today. Amen. Amen. Church, it's time to take some folks back out of the wilderness. Yeah. Amen. And march them down to the river. <laughs> so that they may confess their sins. Come on, somebody. To bring them to repentance for the remission of sins. To get them set free. Amen. And get their hearts right with God. Amen. We have to tell God, you know, take me to the river. Wash me down and save my soul. Amen. Too many crying in the wilderness with no one to help them. No one to guide them to the river. They don't know the God of love that we know. Come on, somebody. Amen. They only know the God of this world. But you know what? Don't get mad at me. I'm going to mess up in the house today. Amen. Oh, my God. Help me, Holy Ghost. Some of us are too stingy with our salvation. Boy, I'm getting quiet up in here. Greed within our own hearts. We think somebody's after our anointing. We, we think, you know, we, we don't want to share what God has given us. Huh. The glory, his love. Come on, somebody. Amen. Oh, I'm going to mess up in here. <laughs> we don't want to share the love of God, you know, the love of Jesus, nor the glory that he shared with us. We say, I'm good. I'm saved. Sanctified. Let them find their own way to the river. My God. <laughs> Help me, somebody. Amen. But, you know, don't forget you know, we at one time, we needed a Savior too. Come on, somebody. Amen. We needed somebody to disciple us. Amen. Yes. We needed to be led to the river. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Oh, my God. To the lead. We, you know, we needed to be led to the river of life. You know, we're stuck on ignorance and stupid. Amen. And on peanut butter. My God. <laughs> hey. This is my peanut butter. Let me get let, let me get his own. Amen. You know, let me say, you know what? I'm okay. I, I'm saved. You know what? This is my Jesus. Amen. Let him find his own Jesus. Come on, somebody. Amen. My God. Where's the discipleship in the church? 
The Bible says in Romans 10, 12, for there is no difference between Jew and Gentile. The same Lord is Lord of all and ri richly blesses all who call on him. Amen. Amen. He's my Lord just as he is your Lord. Trying to, you know, stop trying to keep them in your pocket. Uh, it don't work that way. What? We are called to disciple. Amen. Amen. Help me, Holy Ghost. Salvation doesn't just belong to us. We are to preach the word of God to pull some folks out of the wilderness. Uh, Amen. My God. Church, without disciples, many will never come to know the love of Christ. Uh, yeah. Amen. Romans 10, 13 tells us everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Yes, true. That's what the word says. But it also says that how then, listen to this, how then can they call on the one they have not believed in? Yeah. My God. And how can they believe in the one of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? I'm, oh, I'm talking to somebody this morning. My God. And how can we anyone preach unless they are sent? My God, as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. Come on, somebody, give them glory in the house. Where are the true disciples, God is saying? We call ourselves disciples. Amen, let's see. Preachers, pastors, evangelists, prophets, servants. I'm a man of God. Who sent you? You claim to be sent. My God, I'm going to hurt somebody today. You see, we first must examine ourselves, check our motives, and see if they line up with God. Come on, somebody. Why do we ask ourselves, where's my fruit? Nobody even listens to you. Am I truly sent? You know, when I write this, the oh, Holy Ghost is moving. Amen. Why don't no one hear the word of God when I testify? Well, you know, you might have went down to the wrong river. Hey, hey. Right. my God, I'm talking to somebody today. Amen. Well, I'm going to mess up in you. There might be a reason behind it. You might just have to go back to the river and repent and ask God, Lord, forgive me. Oh, my God. Okay. Because I've been playing church. Pretending to be a true disciple. Mm. Some of us need to go back to the river and repent for the remission of our own sins. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So that we may save our own souls. My God, don't go out and disciple if your own soul is still in the wilderness. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Do I have any disciples in the house? Yes. All right. God is looking for true disciples, true soul winners. To lead his church. Help me Holy Ghost. Soul winners for the kingdom. Don't play with God. The Bible says. Amen. You know. God, ain't got, God doesn't want a lukewarm church. Right. He wants every member in the church. To be on fire. Because the last I know I heard. We are the church. Come on somebody. Amen. We got to be on fire every day. Amen. The Bible says it's a terrible thing. To fall into the hands of the living God. Amen. Hebrews 10.3. Amen. 10.31. Folks, you know, we, folks leaving the church like a stampede now, man. You know, you know, you look around in the church, you know, most of the time you see in most churches, big church, you see nothing but women in there. Because the men out there going crazy. Yeah. Running like a stampede in a, in, in, <laughs> at a baseball game. Come on, somebody. Amen. Too many brothers and sisters, parents, even grandparents, teachers, pastors, disciples have never truly been saved and sanctified. They truly don't know God. Too many folks in the hands of the enemy. Envy, murder, children being murdered. You hear it all day. Mental health from too much abuse. Drug overdoses. Domestic abuse, alcohol, and their minds have been turned over to depravity. Come on, somebody. Now the rainbow all in the church. Hey, not in this church. Amen. My God, y'all better help me up in here. Amen. I don't see no flag waving up in this church. 
Talk to me, church. Homosexuality. Now, now folk can't even see the sins before them. Their eyes are blind and their thoughts are evil, the Bible says. See, we are called to take them to the river so that we may prepare the way to Jesus. Come on, somebody. To salvation so that their souls may be saved. We are called to turn, the Bible says, sinners from their errors, from their sins. James 5.20 tells us, remember this. Whoever turns a sinner from error of their way will save them from death and cover a multitude of sins. My God. Amen. We will cover them from the hellfire waiting for them. And you know what? Sometimes I tell myself, you know what? Hey, I got to remember this. I got to remind myself what the word says. Amen. Because there's some hellfire waiting for, with me too if I mess up. Amen. Amen. My God. But God says, I find no help. He says, I find no help. Where's the help? Our disciples are too busy chasing the height. Chasing the high. Chasing the women. Chasing the fame. Come on, somebody. Chasing their fortune. Am I right, somebody? Amen. Where are the disciples? Too busy in their own self-righteousness. They believe there will be enough to get them in the kingdom. Well, you know what? The devil is a liar. You need a real preacher. Amen. Amen. To remind you, you ain't living right. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. God is saying, I found no help. I'm appalled, he says, that there is no one to bring them to my glory. My God. To guide them to the river. The Bible says that we have reached a place in our lives that we go around with no righteousness, in sin, no justice, no peace, no light. Deliverance is far from us and we feel like dead among the strong. My God, somebody better help me in here. And that our thoughts are evil. Help me, Lord. This is what we have become. You know, the prophet Isaiah, didn't, he didn't compromise the word of God. He, he said it like he saw it. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 59, 7. And I'm going to back this up with a word. Amen. Because this is not my word. It ain't the past word. It's the word of God. Amen. Let's what it, look, what it, look what it says. Their feet rush into sin. They are swift to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are evil thoughts. Ruin and destruction mark their ways. My God. The way of peace they do not know. There is no justice in their path. They have turned into crooked roads. And no one walks in them and will know peace. My God. Verse 9 says, so justice is far from us and righteousness does not reach us. We look for light, but all is darkness for brightness. But we walk in deep shadows. My God, help me somebody. Like the blind, we grope along the wall. Feeling our way like men without eyes. At midday we stumble as if we're twilight among the strong. We are like dead, my God. We all growl like bears, the Bible says. We mourn mournfully like doves. We look for justice but find none for deliverance. But it is far away. Amen. This is where the world is today. We have work, church. God is calling us in these last hours to wake up. Amen. Amen. Folks are dying like flies out there. Every time, every day you hear, oh, so-and-so die, so-and-so die. Well, I hope they knew Jesus. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Verse 12 tells us, listen to this. For our offenses are many in your sight. And our sins testify against us. Our offenses are ever with us and we acknowledge our iniquities. My God, it's saying we know what we do is wrong and we see it, but yet we're still in it. We can't get away from it. It's all over us. Come on, somebody. Amen. Rebellion, it says, and treachery means deception against the Lord. Turning our backs on our God. Formenting means riot. Oppression means abuse. My God. And revolt means to rebel. Uttering lies our hearts have conceived. My God. 
to say this is what this heart verses. Turning our backs on God. Rebelling against God. Come on, somebody. Amen. Rising up against God. Verse 14 says, so justice is driven back in righteousness stands at a distance. Truth has stumbled in the streets. Honesty cannot enter my God. No more can we get, have honest in our own lives no more. It's, the Bible says that it stays in the, at a distance from us. Truth is nowhere to be found, the Bible says. And whoever shuns evil becomes prey. You know, now, you know, now folks shun evil. You know, now they become prey. We try to do good and folks calling us out. Because we in the church. Come on, somebody. The Lord looked, it says, and was displeased that there was no justice. He said, no one came to the rescue. My God. Verse 16 said, he saw that there was no one. He was appalled that there was no one to intervene. So his own arm worked salvation for him and his own righteousness sustained him. My God. He said, if I can't get no help from nobody, you know what? I got to come down myself and take over. My God, y'all better help me up in here. He said he was appalled. You know, when he says you intervene, that means we got to step in. You know, when your partner was getting beat up, hey, you used to go in and intervene and jump on in. Come on, somebody. You know, God is saying, where are you? My, my folks are dying. People are dying. Why ain't you intervene? Amen. Oh, y'all don't hear the word this morning. Talk to me, somebody. Oh, yeah. Take them to the river. We know that though we were once in this life, church, and that we through the spirit of God have overcame the sins in the lives of this world, we are called to discipleship. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in 1 Peter 5, 2, it says, not because we want, but because we are willing. Amen. We got to have a willing heart to jump in and say, you know what? I, these folks are dying. This man's messed up. I need to come and help this man today. Amen. My God. In, Rev, in Revelation 21, he, he says, he said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha, excuse me, and the, and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To him who is thirsty, I will give to drink without the cost from the spring of the water of life. My God. It doesn't cost nothing. Amen. You just got to come Amen. to the river. Hey, my God. It doesn't, come, it doesn't cost nothing. Lord, take me to the river. Wash me and save my soul. Yes, dear God. Mark, I'm going to take you to a reading now. In the beginning, the Bible says in Mark chapter 1. Can I hurt y'all a little bit more? In the beginning gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in the prophets, it said, this is what we just read. Behold, I send a messenger, my messenger, before thy face, which shall prepare the way before thee. You know, we got to prepare ourselves sometimes. We got to say, you know what, God, you know, I need your help today. You know, prepare me for the way. Yes, yes. Amen. My God. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. The Lord Jesus, what he was saying, the Lord Jesus is coming. My God. Crying in the wilderness. You know, sometimes we got to cry in that wilderness too. You know, you don't ever see nobody crying. Just, you know, you can imagine, man, he was in this wilderness and he's trying to get some folks to the river. You know, he said, hey, be ready because Jesus is coming. And he began to cry. He was weeping. He was crying. They said, was it fear? You know, I believe that he he had fear in his heart because nobody was listening. My God. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. The Bible says John did baptize in the wilderness and preach the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. Amen. And he says, and there went out unto him all the land of Judea and they of Jerusalem and were all baptized of him in the river of Jordan. My God, confessing their sins. Amen. He said, even from the urban, from the urbans, from the inner city to the country were coming. Amen. Could you imagine, picture that just coming in thousands to be baptized. My God. 
And John, it says, was clothed with camel's hair and with a girdle of skin about his loins. And he did eat locusts and wild honey, my God. Sometimes we got to dress ourselves up with camel hair, amen. Oh. Don't worry about what we got on. Right. Don't worry about what we eat. Save some souls for the kingdom. Come on, somebody. Amen. He was out there eating locusts. Can you imagine? How many is eating the locusts today, amen? amen. Nobody. Hey, my God. Amen. He was saying, you know what? You know, no matter what, you know, even if I don't eat today, you know what? I, I'm, I got to work for God. I, I got something I got to do. Come on, somebody. Amen. God has called me to be a disciple. Amen. Too many folks are lost, drugged out. They don't know what they're doing. You know what? And God has called us. John said, I don't care if I just got a camel hair to wear, yes, but I'm going to work for Jesus.